what is up everyone it's anori the best rexai in the world back at it again with another in-depth jungle rexai video so recently i just got challenger playing rexai i'm going to show you guys exactly how we're going to play the beautiful queen who is the top three jungler on the patch currently i do have some rexai nerves planned but i still will say confidently rexai will be super broken still so here always start red red crooks raptors depending on your side i want you guys to really think about which side you're on because it affects your pathing and your game plan on red side we have this side to abuse on blue side we can easily kill bot so blue side you can't bot red side you can camp top but sometimes i still can't bot this ball is op but you have the easy option of just ganking top from like behind the wall whenever you want like 300 gold but here just make sure we get our autos off just right click <laughs> this guy actually thinks <laughs> he thinks like five hits but it's okay <laughs> I remember just played pathing here we see the enemy bot lane returning to lane in such a weird fashion right what that showcases is that red side leashed right they they helped their graves they came from they came from the way that means they gave graves a beautiful leash same way silas gave me a leash they did the same with graves so that's just good information it means they'll probably do a level three knowing graves sometimes he likes to cheese reverse gank but it really depends on the state of the game, so... I did ping it, so I'm not responsible for any of the F-Sec or bot lane. Nor am I liable for any of that. Uh, but yeah, that's always a big thing when it comes to it. I think mid is in a point where they're about to die, so I really just want... My mid to live here. It's always the, the little fadeaway is what I like to call that one get him in but then get him out bait him in and then bait him out as long as i don't face check graves here it's all good in the hood it looks like graves did what i thought level one warning here you see how i'm kind of like going around the division thresh is level one so i feel quite good about possibly going for a gank here as long as they get behind them mm, possibility here we could actually get oh we're, we got the knock up we're going in e true damage when the rage bar is high and then the auto attacks to finish them off you see how i was spacing there obviously rick'sai as strong as a shia as strong as Rek'Sai is as an early game champion. Oh, I have the debuff. Let's try not to take more. As long as, as strong as you are early game, you don't want to absorb too much free damage. It just hurts you in ways you don't want to be hurt. With that first love. Yeah, but yeah, remember this debuff. The reason I was getting one gold was because of the monster debuff. It's called Monster Hunter. It occurs whenever you just take too much minion farm. Because of the minion farm I got mid lane. But here's just a good example of, you know, I played where... I just utilized the like, i didn't really use this top wall because remember we talked about if we can kill bot it's very much better i went mid because both mids were really low if both mids are really low and then the mid champion they have here might be able to sneak into the brush and kill this graves possibility bit far for them to reach me and unfortunately i got the entire u.s army on no tail if you can ever get the free auto like that off on graves it's just really big and we know graves started top side right with that information i might try for a nice very powerful invade here on graves just getting in a combo on him on him through the blast plan will be very good Mm -mm. It looks like he went to his bot side, so we're just gonna leave that the way it is. As long as this guy doesn't get six instantly, I think we should be able to get a kill here. It looks like he's not six, so. That's what I'm talking about. Abusing that wall is just. It's like a buffet. You go to the seafood 
restaurant, you get free food, man. There, you're probably wondering, Nori, why do you base? Because whenever you show on one side, the, the reaction of a lot of times other junglers to go and abuse like your other side. They see you one side, they think you can react, go the other side. I redid my Raptor camp. Usually, I probably would want to do Krugs, but the distance from like here to Krugs is so far that I could just, I could just do a, a quick base and then continue playing boss side because a lot of times when you have like a winning bot, you have a support that has like crowd control. It's just very easy for you to continue winning that kind of situation. Plus, I have a feeling like you know Graves would have gone that for that play, so I, I just you know top lane okay the way i'll explain it you want to stay there for a short time not a long time okay that's how that's how you have to have that outlook it's fun for those free kills whenever i'm there but i'm not gonna like expect like i don't expect to win through bod that's just like not an actual thing nor will it happen so here I want I want to win through bot. I want bot to feel strong. I want bot to feel like we can fight. I want to continue punishing the enemy bot. I want them to feel like they're they're getting dope. Here I don't know exactly where Graves is, but you always want to stop their base. This guy's not even basing, so. Here I'm just sniping him. Realistically, I don't want to go in melee range for this one. I have an E ready, so I'm out of there. I don't want to take too much there. Doing dragon, I'm not... We talking about... I'm not big on first dragon, guys. What really gets my balls to quake is the first herald, which gives you 300 bonus gold, which gives you a shit ton more experience. Which is literally love in every form and fashion. Plus, I have all my top side up, so... Let's say Graves was pathing up in that situation. He could easily have... Like, if I stay, the longer I stay there... The more likely Graves would just re-enter my jungle and take my top side, which is very valuable. The first side of your respawn, your re your second buff respawns at level five. It gives you that level six window. It always respawns around eight minutes, and that's always a, a thing people will take advantage of. They will steal your first buff. You're not gonna let them steal your second buff, and that's something you can do against other junglers too, is to steal their first. They're respawning second buff. And also first herald is I I whenever I get ahead, guys, I always really play for that herald. My E is not gonna be up for a bit, so I'm just gonna do one camp while we're waiting for that. I just if I'm gonna do Herald, what I really like to do is set up a tunnel to do Herald. Like this. Because it gives me kind of like my escape while also giving me entrance to the Herald side. So here, Graze's boss side. If Graze's boss side, that just gives me a lot more, you know, confidence that this Herald's free. This is just a classic Herald play. See, if I was to get caught, I could just take my tunnel out. And it would just, it would be very safe for me. The fact that my balling lives here, it means I could potentially die this guy. Who's, this is where I like come for that short window we talked about, right? Remember what I say, short time, not a long time. live by that guys short it's a short window and honestly i don't mind dropping herald in this situation because it's really hard for us to get placed as like a silas rex side comp so instead we can just easily one shot this tower and then just keep that as like that investment it's like herald the crash you want to if you get an opportunity to break a tower like that you always drop it because the plates they get way more tanky the longer you wait and my balling is just doing such a fantastic job of actually not really dying too much to the the graves when i'm winning the other side of the map oh, i got you don't worry my child baby don't worry because you don't need to what i was in ulti animation there holy shit I really thought I had that one. Ideally, I would not overstay like that. I, I, I'm a genius, so I wouldn't have overstayed like that. But Silas kind of baited me. Um, I was trying to save him. But he's like, he's, he's not that valuable. You are the most important player on the team. And Nori, Rek'Sai, 
you playing your XI, most important player. Play for yourself before you play for others. No one's going to help you when you're struggling. So you can't get behind. But we're in such a fantastic, fantastic position. Here I'm just going to farm one quadrant. The classic Anori quadrant farming. Maybe not actually. Let me grab crab though. Well, I don't want to lose crab so I'm just going to do it fast. And now we're going to do the second quadrant. And we're just going to make our money. I don't really want to help mid. I just find it hard to actually get on Akale. And there's too many angles she can just escape. If she plays like aggressive under tower, that's like an opportunity. Without Ezreal too, we don't really have that much damage to kill. Personally, I think we take control of this area though. I have a feeling it might be like kind of pinked. Oh, you idiot, bro. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, wait, you never mind indeed, bro. My man is alive. Fiddle lives matter. Good job, my man. And whenever you have a chance to just free hit towers like this guy's always free hit. Rek'Sai auto cube breaks plates like... You probably break your keyboard. You can almost get three plates just like that. With the cube reset cooldown, you're telling me this is not just the most broken thing you've ever seen in your life. Look at that. I put the... Ah, dude, it's so nice. Plates early game. This is something I think a lot of lower low ELO people, they really don't think about is how much value plates really give you. Like... Plates, they give you so much gold, like... This is why, le like, winning games, like, early game is... Like, coming back from games can be so difficult, because... The enemy team gets to capitalize on all those plates, while you just don't get any plates. And that should be different, you should be... You should be getting plates, is what I'm trying to say, guys. And here, I'm just farming, because we have our base timer. We always want to get our... We always want to time our base timer well around items. This is 650, this is going to give us our item. We're like way too far off from our, uh, what's it called? Our tabby's spy. So, also, you guys probably noticing, I actually do like to keep trinkets way longer. I think sweeper sucks. I only get to switch to sweeper when I start to, like, maybe my next base, I'm gonna switch to sweeper. So, that's like way later, like level 9, 10, 11 is when I start to, like, usually switch. The reason is sweeper is just not as good after the nerfs. Plus, trinket, it just gives you more, like, vision control. In my opinion, when you're in, like, warding just gives you more value. And, the, and like, I switch to Sweeper once we start to kind of, like, play more for dragons. Sweeper is still important for, like, the Baron baits and all that kind of stuff. I think deep. This is really deep if we go for fight them here. I'm just going to take a chunk out of him. So he's a bit lower in fights. There's a little bite out of him, you know? Make him know, recognize I'm here. Oh, just an just a itty bitty chunk. And they are low enough where we could potentially dive them, though. They look like a Kalios bot side, so I'm kind of down for a dive. Wait, this guy actually let me live. No way. Oh, I wouldn't say let me live, but this guy just made the biggest Akali flop I've ever seen in my life. I was a bit surprised to see he, was, he had ulti up. And ignite, but it is what it is. 
This is like the new Rex side region, right? Let it take a couple times. You just get a bunch of value back. I generally wait for like two ticks to stay healthy, especially when I'm on objectives. Just like let it tick twice. It gives you a lot of exp HP back. Here, I kind of want to farm for my po like Pokemon pretty close to me. Enemy team is pretty AP heavy, so it might not be a Sterics game. It might be an AP, AP game. Here, they, well, they're all fighting top, right? You being like the... You being the uneducated player that you are, we'll probably go help them, but no. This is where I see a window where I can just push bot, get a bunch of farm, and just make so much more money by doing this play. Because, like, I'm a genius, right? So, like, I know this will just inherently net me so much. Me running all the way to Herald, it's just bad business, right? You just have to look at it like that. It's just bad business. My team is already relatively fed that they necessarily don't even need me. Plus, on top of that, it's just inefficient for me to move so far. I play where I play with, like, a rhythm is how I look at it. I play with, like, the flow of the game. That's something, like, I... I don't like just inherently think about this like years ahead. I just play with the flow of the game. And now I've just made so much more money off that play. While the enemy team, all they really did was like potentially net them like one kill. On top of all that, I, I forced... Oh shit. Okay, I'm on my way, boys. We gotta go on the graves here, ulti that too. It's just a, you know, play play for yourself before you play for others. It's a formula, guys. I want you to think about the formula. I think there's a pink here I should clear. Or maybe it was already cleared. And you see how I combo, I always right click. <laughs> I right click, I do my damage, and I always make sure my E is casted while the rage bar is full. Yoink. Remember, your bar, if it's red, it's 100 fury. You cast E, it does double damage plus true damage. That's something you have to practice. Something I just want you guys to really get better at. This is like a good... A few, there's not that many mall games, but this is a good mall game. Just, you have to read the game, right? Like, look at the magic, magic, magic. Three APs. So I'm not big on... Tenacity. I already have the Tenacity rune, so I don't like Merc Trez. I, if I don't build Tabbies, I'm still going to get autoed a lot, is how I know. Because I'm going to stack a lot of MR this game, I'm just going to get that little bit of armor from my Tabbies and just sit on that for Graves. And then I'll focus on, like, Magic Resist for the rest of, like, my stats. Is how I'm going to... See how... And now it's, like, Baron time. This is, like, Sweepers are good. They're more valuable. This is how you want to use Sweepers. So just think of like using it more like that. Or soon to be Baron. Do we even have time for this? We do. So just have that kind of mindset. But you really should take advantage of how strong Rek'Sai is at split pushing. Something I, I try to teach. You always go for these random sideways. Huge value. Here no one's going topside. Well Rek'Sai is the top laner. Rek'Sai is the split pusher. So I'm going to go. Just it, the amount of gold I made from just catching these waves. Because after 14 minutes, it's good because the plates fall down. And then the debuff for Monster Hunter, the one we talked about earlier, disappears. Before that, it's at like 60%, which is very bad. It's not worth it to farm. But once it falls, you get a huge value. So here I'm going to set up like, I call them split push tunner tunnels as like my escape afterwards. I usually they just put them like as I'm like moving down. Different areas. Here I'm just going to capitalize on no one really reacting here Adios! I have a moss, so I'll live. I could have maybe eat onto him and killed him there. That's like next level Rek'Sai tracking. That's just how it goes. 
Graves doesn't understand how much goddamn regen we actually have, so... It's gonna be a bit of a surprise to him when he sees me full health. I mean, that's just wreck side things, what can I say? I could've killed him earlier. I didn't want to aggressively tunnel him because I was a bit worried about potentially being collapsed on, but... I mean, this is like the regen. You want to take advantage of the regen. They're somehow not nerfing this next patch for some reason. I don't know why. But just take advantage of it while it's good. I mean, all I did was combo Akali. My bar was full. It was red. I casted E. And then I R'd her. R reveals invisibility, so she's pretty much dead. The only counter to that, guys, you have to watch out. Once they buy Zhonya's, it just ruins your combo. You can't kill them. You have to watch for Zhonya's stopwatch. They can use, like, Zhonya's, your stopwatch is so easy. For MR, there's not as many MR items in the game. But if I had to pick one out of these items. Hmm. We can go Force of Nature this game. Usually I go Sterex into Gargoyle, but this is an AP heavy game, so stacking more MR will have more value. Honestly, let's just get let's just wait for it. No harm, no foul. This is such a good game. Like I'm just pounding. I'll just wait a bit longer. Triple AP, you, you do want to stack a lot of MR. Usually my build is like Cleaver, Sterex, Gargoyle with like a death stance for my AD. On average, you're gonna play against more like comps like that. But this game is like, it's a bit weird. This game, it's like a heavy AP comp, which I don't think is ever good, but it is. If they didn't have Karthus bot though, I would have definitely itemized more for like my normal build with like a Sterix and like a, a Gargoyle with DD. That's like my go-to build, super OP guys. This game, if we're having to go MR, Maul, with like a force of nature will be like a very good synergy here we're gonna go back to splitting i personally like to split whenever i get baron whenever i have and like in my money I, I i find it easy to play side lane you have to be a little careful that's why i say set up those tunnels because they're pretty much escape tunnels is how you should look at it i put one here now i have an easy way to like run towards it Use the brush to kind of move forward more. And like my regen is obviously very high. We got a runner. And yeah, I'm just very, I'm itemized well against enemy comp. Hard for them to kill me. Plus my regen, I'm always going to take advantage of. Blue Pokemon helped me in that kind of situation. Well, if you guys like the video, man, definitely watch my videos if you want to get better at Rek'Sai. I think she's still going to be extremely strong champion. Very broken. Very good. Just kind of be more selfish when you play her. Just because she's a good ganker, right? Doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't be playing for yourself. So just be more selfish. And hope you guys like that video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video as well. And I'll catch you guys later.